desktop i3 versus laptop i7 it's me jimmy a geek so if you don't know i have done a video last year in which video i have talked about desktop i5 versus laptop i7 and then a lot of you viewers were requesting me to make a video of desktop i3 processor versus the laptop i7 if you wanna watch the old video you can click the card and watch the video so in this video i'm going to do the comparison of the desktop i3 6300 with the laptop i7 6700 i'm not going to speak a lot first here are the benchmark Is the camera rolling on? I'm back. So you can clearly see that the i3 of desktop is costing you like 117 bucks compared to the laptop i7 which costs you like 370 bucks around. So my personal opinion and my personal analyzing of the data is that there's no difference. In some cases I mean the multi-thread or the cute core processor of the laptop benefit you but in other cases the single thread or the single core is more powerful than the laptop i7 so the performance is not i mean like 15 percent different i mean when you compare i mean with the desktop i5 i mean the desktop i5 is like 15 percent more powerful than a laptop i7 but here it's like i mean in some cases the i3 is like five percent more powerful in some cases five percent less powerful so the conclusion is that the desktop i3 is identical or equal performance to the laptop i7 so if you are looking to buy a video editing laptop think again laptop is not good for video editing buy a, a better i mean desktop or just buy a normal i3 we are going to build some kind of gaming pc if you're thinking you're going to buy the i7 or laptop i7 is more powerful that is not the case that is not the case i have shown you benchmark so the conclusion is that the laptop i7 is more powerful yes in some cases but the performance is very identical to i3 or i mean if you're using like single thread applic uh, application then i3 is the clear winner here even if you're using multi-thread application still i will say i will go with the i3 to be honest with you i mean it have like dual core four thread i mean more than enough so yeah that was the conclusion if you have any question you can email me at gmailgeek at gmail.com watch my some another video or leave your comment do you agree with my opinion with my benchmark or not i wanna know it so it was me your tech reviewer jimmy a geek subscribe